And new tonight at 10, crews have recovered the body of a missing UW lacrosse student who has been the subject of many searches over the past several weeks. The body of 25-year-old Hamoud Fa'al was found today in the Mississippi River. He was last seen February 20th. The Sun Prairie High School alums, family members, and friends raised more than $20,000 to put up billboards and offer a reward for information in the case. Developing story tonight from Columbia County, State Highway 16 was closed until about 9.30 tonight, more than five hours after a crash in Fall River. Happened about 4 o'clock. Photos appear to show a semi-truck off the road. Further details were not immediately available. State Department of Health Services says three children have now died from the flu this year. They say influenza activity is on the rise in the state. Health officials say the easiest way to protect yourself and others against the flu is by getting vaccinated. And on the COVID-19 front, the Madison School District says it'll be reopening 14 testing sites on Monday. Testing hours will be 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at all sites. Rapid antigen and PCR testing will be available for free. Rescuers in the Ukrainian city of Mariupol are searching the rubble of a theater where hundreds of civilians were taking shelter this week. They're reportedly finding survivors. It was bombed by the Russians despite these satellite images from two days prior showing the building standing with children written large outside. As war intensifies, President Biden will have an important conversation tomorrow with China's president to warn the Chinese leader that his country will bear responsibility if they support Russia's aggression. More shelling in Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, started a fire at a market, killing several people. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the U.S. is documenting potential war crimes committed by Russia. Today, he expressed concern about what may come. We believe that Moscow may be setting the stage to use a chemical weapon and then falsely blame Ukraine to justify escalating its attacks on the Ukrainian people. A United Nations report says more than $100 billion worth of infrastructure has been destroyed in the first three weeks of the war. The arrest of U.S. basketball star Brittany Griner extended by a Russian court. Moscow authorities say the two-time Olympic gold medalist smuggled drugs in February. According to a Russian state news agency, the arrest will now last until May 19th. 31-year-old Griner, a U.S. citizen, who has played on a Russian professional team in the WNBA offseason since 2015. New information tonight, the driver of the wrong-way collision that killed six members of a college golf team earlier th this week was only 13 years old. Six golf players from the University of the Southwest, along with their coach, died in a head-on crash in West Texas. This was Tuesday night. NTSB investigators say both vehicles were moving at a high rate of speed. They say the fact that many of the bus's passengers were not wearing seat belts also contributed to that death toll. And a 47-car pileup on I-57 in southeastern Missouri today left six people dead. Photos from the scene show several tractor trailers scattered along the highway, which remains closed. In addition to the fatalities, multiple others were also injured. And new tonight, Michigan law enforcement releasing this new video today of the fire investigation at the historic Oakland County Hills Country Club. The complex burned down a month ago, and today uh, vi the video shows workers using a blowtorch to dry the siding of the building. One worker kneels down on the floor and apparently sees flames. He then runs to get a water hose to try to put it out. The sheriff said fire investigators should have a preliminary finding sometime next month. The full investigation could take a year. Still ahead tonight, rain and potential snow tomorrow. Gary will have your complete forecast. Plus some free gas in Chicago. We'll show you how this happened. That's next at 10. It's the A1 Furniture and Mattress Instant Cash Back Event. Save up to 40% off store-wide. Plus, get $50 instant cash back on every $500 you spend. Take advantage of four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in-store or online only at A1 Furniture. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753.
or go to sonobello.com now. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Why would Stanton Optical choose a spokes bird? They're not your typical eye care company. I'm not your typical penguin. We're a team. There's no eye in eye care. Wait. <laughs> Get two pairs of glasses plus a free eye exam, anti-glare lenses, and same-day service for only $79. You heard it was a hit. You heard it was a smash. A wonder. A phenomenon. An international sensation. But you haven't heard that. Get instant cash back on every mattress purchase over $500 only at A1 Furniture. Save up to 40% off top name brand mattresses. Plus get instant cash back and four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in store or online now at A1 Furniture. Badger men's basketball gets ready to dance. Josh Breiders live in the 414 with a game day preview and a bunch of fun events to show off your Badger spirit. And Mother Nature has its own March Madness. I'm tracking a rain snow mix tomorrow morning from 430 to 7. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. Check out the long lines. A millionaire businessman donated $200,000 worth of free gas across Chicago today as residents struggle with the high gas prices. Dr. Willie Wilson said starting at 7 this morning, each vehicle at participating gas stations would get $50 in gas until the $200,000 was exhausted. He hopes to do this a couple more times as well. As the midterm campaign season gets into full swing, Secretary of State Doug LaFollette says... He wants to run for a 12th term. The 81-year-old Democrat's been in office since the 80s. During a press conference at the Capitol today, LaFollette said he wants to stay on the job because Republicans want to change his office and make it oversee state elections. Many Democrats, of course, and some Republicans who I've talked to recently say they believe I would be the strongest candidate to keep this office in the hands of a Democrat and therefore protected from election meddling. Right now, the office mostly handles the state seal, stamping it on official documents. LaFollette joins a handful of Republicans who are already in the race, including State Representative Amy Loudenbeck. Students with the Middleton Cross Plains Area School District getting a big chunk of change for new books and technology. State's Common School Fund awarded the district more than $334,000. The funds are overseen by the Board of Commissioners of Public Lands, which were announced last week as part of a $40 million expansion to public school libraries throughout the state. UW System President Tommy Thompson sitting down for a virtual meeting with reporters today as he prepares to wrap up his time with the UW. When asked about his future and potentially running for governor again, he says those decisions are on hold for the time being. I'm going to be uh, sitting down with my family, my friends, my advisors, and uh, reporters like you, Emily, and talk about the, the future of Wisconsin in April. So uh, all partisan questions uh, are delayed till April. In January, the UW System Board chose Milwaukee attorney and law firm CEO Jay Rothman as the system's next president after Thompson announced his retirement. Rothman doesn't have higher education management experience, but Thompson says he's okay with that as long as he fights for the UW. A state Republican lawmaker and candidate for governor said he wanted to punch Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, quote, right in the nose. Representative Tim Rampton said it in an online interview posted on YouTube. It comes after Voss kicked Rampton out, the, out of a closed-door meeting yesterday about decertifying President Biden's 2020 win in Wisconsin. Tomorrow, Governor Evers ordering flags to fly at half-staff in honor of Wisconsin's first female lieutenant governor who died earlier this month. Former Lieutenant G Governor Margaret Farrow, who was appointed lieutenant governor in 2001 under then-Governor Scott McCallum, died March 8th at the age of 87. Services for her will be held tomorrow in Heartland. And here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with a look at our forecast. Yeah, we're watching the rain to see whether or not it'll change the snow or if it'll change the snow. Three things you need to know on the forecast. 
Most of us will see mainly rain uh, for tonight and for much of the day tomorrow. There could be some snow mixed in as well, but the better chances for a mix of rain and snow will be north of Madison, where there could be some minor accumulations. Uh, but that will depend a lot on temperatures, and I think it will be mainly tomorrow evening when temperatures get cold enough for that to happen. Then we'll see a warm-up for the weekend and more showers as we head into next week. Get a little bit of a break right now. This is high-resolution Doppler radar. You can see just some sprinkles up to the north, but farther to the south and west, there is uh, quite a bit of rain developing across central portions of Iowa. That will be heading northeastward. But as temperatures turn colder, we'll see a change in snow. Now, this is future track. Uh, you can see that area of rain to our south and west in Iowa. As it heads northeastward, temperatures start to cool off. We could see a mix of rain and snow north and west of Madison. This is 7 a.m. But look at Madison's temperature, 38 degrees. La Crosse, 38. There might be some mid-30s, especially in some of the higher elevations uh, out uh, north and west of Madison. That's where you more likely see a mix of rain and snow. But even through the day tomorrow, Madison around 40 degrees by 3.30, areas south and east of Madison staying in the in the 40s. And then to the north and west, temperatures a little colder. That's where we could see that mix of rain and snow. Now, as we get into tomorrow night, temperatures do start to drop closer to freezing to the north and west of town. But by that time, the bulk of the precipitation is heading off to the east. So I think there'll be a narrow window of opportunity for some minor snow accumulations to the north and west, unless we get a really heavy burst of snow where that could lower the temperatures enough to have the snow stick. But by Saturday afternoon, temperatures will be in the mid 40s and in the 50s out to the west of us as sunshine returns, and we could be up into the upper 50s to around 60 by Sunday. This is future track showing the snow again inch, maybe uh, two inches in a couple of spots north and west of Dane County. Otherwise, we're just looking at mainly rain and a mix of rain and snow for most of us. High temperatures today, lower 50s here, but to the south of the cold front that came through last night, temperatures were in the mid-70s, close to 80 degrees down by St. Louis. Now temperatures have cooled off into the 40s here, but you really have to go almost to the U.S.-Canadian border to see temperatures around freezing and to the north and west. We still have to have that cool down in order to get that mix of precipitation. Now, that's happening across parts of Kansas. They got a blizzard warning for into tomorrow morning for high winds and just a couple of inches of snow that'll be causing whiteout conditions. And then on the east side of the same storm system, there's the snow in Kansas, severe weather across parts of eastern portions of Oklahoma. In between the stationary front, that divides the much milder conditions of the south to the rain to the north. But again, those temperatures have to cool down a few more degrees, or actually quite a few more degrees before we start talking about uh, any snow that could stick to the ground here. So overnight, look for some rain, maybe mixing with snow north of Madison, low temperature dropping to 34, and then tomorrow, Look for a high temperature of, well, actually, that should be uh, for tomorrow, a high of 40. We'll see some rain uh, probably uh, during the uh, much of the day with a mix of rain and snow to the northwest. You can see this on future track. There's the rain moving in, the mix to the north and west. Then eventually later on tomorrow night, that starts changing over to some snow as the uh, precipitation winds down. And then Saturday, we see some clearing by the afternoon. The snow amounts again an inch or two, maybe north and west of Dane County. Temperatures warm up to near 60 for Monday, uh, Sunday and Monday, then we see some rain and temperatures turn colder for the end of next week into the following weekend. And Packer Nation still reeling from the Devontae Adams news. We're going to get you all caught up on his trade. Plus, we're going to get some player reactions. That's coming up in sports. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Earn a 30 cent High V Fuel Saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 30 cent fuel saver. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Scan the QR code or check out HyVDeals.com for more deals. Everything seems to be more expensive these days, everything costs more. Ron Johnson should be helping families like us, but he seems to have helped himself instead. An investigation found that Ron Johnson pushed through a special tax loophole that benefited his own family's business. Then he cashed out of the company for $5 million. He's doubled his wealth since taking office. It doesn't seem fair to me. Tell Ron Johnson to stop passing tax laws that benefit himself. What do a 20-ounce Coca-Cola and a Quick Trip take-home meal have in common? You know, besides that they're both delicious, they earn you chances to win a brand-new Chevy Tahoe in our Coca-Cola Scratch Game. They play the Scratch Game in your Quick Rewards app, and you can win a Chevy Tahoe or other great prizes. Play for free daily in your Quick Rewards app, or purchase any Quick Trip take-home meal, 20-ounce Coca-Cola, or Smart Water to receive even more chances to play and win. Play the Coca-Cola Scratch Game today, and you can eat, drink, and scratch your way behind the wheel of a new Chevy Tahoe. 
here for... Your annual lie exam. Because I'm having trouble... Reading. Exactly. They sort of make me feel... Like I'm the most fabulous thing you've ever seen? Exactly. I'll take them. Broadway's Tony-winning best musical is Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen, May 10th to 15th at Overture Center. Find your tickets at Overture.org today. So with GEICO, we can easily bundle home and car insurance and save even more? Yeah, home, car, motorcycle, all bundled together. Just like that breakfast burrito. So can I get chorizo? Uh, yeah, uh, metaphorically, yeah. Carnita. Just chicken. Just give me a bunch of chicken. Oh, bacon? Uh, oh, wait, there isn't too much hot sauce, is there? I have a sensitive palate. I actually like hot sauce. Can I get chips? How about guacamole? I uh, don't really know what we're talking about anymore. Burritos. Sure. <laughs> okay. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. It's not just a slogan, but the way of life at Gruber Law Offices. If you've been injured, call our team today. We've represented tens of thousands of injured Wisconsinites for more than 30 years. Trust Wisconsin's own Gruber Law Offices. Proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. Earn a 30 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 30 cent fuel saver. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Scan the QR code or check out hyvdeals.com for more deals. the news coming out of Green Bay tonight, but in case you did, Devontae Adams is being tra is trading in his green and gold for silver and black. Reports say the veteran wide receiver is being acquired by the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, Adams is getting a five-year, over $141 million contract, now making him the highest paid wide receiver in league history. The Raiders are sending the Packers two 2022 draft picks, including their first round pick, according to sources. Now, since that news broke earlier tonight, reactions have been pouring in from around the league, including some of his teammates, Aaron Jones, Kenny Clark, plus Sports Illustrated's prophecy fulfilled quote tweet about last summer's last dance. And the madness is about to begin in Milwaukee with the Badgers pretty much playing in their own backyard. You know, fans are going to be loud and proud. But as Zach Hanley found out earlier, another team might be getting support in this Midwest region, Virginia Tech, and that's all because of one local player. Storm Murphy is back in his home state to play on college basketball's biggest stage, and it couldn't have worked out any better for the Middleton native. As a grad transfer, Murphy helped the Hokies win the ACC tournament, which led Virginia Tech to Milwaukee for the first and second rounds. Now, the only issue he's having, trying to find everyone a ticket. Even in Brooklyn, you know, I was getting a bunch of texts. Everyone's saying, y'all have to win this, y'all have to win this. There's no other option. I got to come to the tournament game um, without any plans that it would be, you know, right in our backyard. Um, so it does, it means a lot, you know, to be able to come back home. And uh, a lot of people are hitting me up, and friends and family. It's been, you know, busy week trying to get all the tickets sorted out and figure it out, but um, yeah, I'm just excited to, to have that sense of and that feeling of, of being home. All Murphy could do was smile anytime his home state was brought up, and he doesn't plan on being one and done in the tourney. As he put it, we're one of the hottest teams in the country. At Pfizer Forum, Zach Hanley, News 3 Sports. Now another honor comes down for Johnny Davis. The Big Ten Player of the Year is officially a consensus. First team All-American right now. Davis is averaging almost 20 points and 8 rebounds a game. He and the team hope to snap their two-game skid tonight, I guess, against Colgate, a team that's on a 15-game win streak. Tip-off is set for 8.50 on TBS. And the tournament, the tournament is heating up all across the country. Let's check out Marquette's matchup with North Carolina earlier this afternoon. Old Eagles are trying to make a run, but it was the Brady Monick show. He splashes a three to put the Tar Heels up by almost 20. Monick on a mission today. An alley-oop dunk. He's going to follow it up with another three. And North Carolina routes Marquette 95 to 63. They're moving on to the round of 32 to face defending champ Baylor on Saturday. And then there were four Whitewater women's basketball hoping to punch their ticket to the national championship. Just need to get past Amherst first. Trailing late in the game, Whitewater's Maggie Trosh flushes a corner three to tie it up at 46. Then with just a one point lead, it's Yissa Sotomingo. She knocks down a three from the wing to give the Warhawks some insurance. They win this one 55 to 51. They're going to take on, they're going to take on Hope in the title game. The Saturday tip off is at one.
And while the Badgers are busy in Milwaukee State Boys basketball, they are taking over the Cole Center tonight in Division Four semifinals. It's Marshall facing Roncalli. Back and forth first half, Cardinals led 26-19, and they're able to push that lead even more in the second half behind some big plays by Craig Ward and Reed Trushinsky. But the Jets, they come roaring back in the final minutes, down by two. They're going to call his number in the corner. He buries the triple to give Roncalli the lead for good. Marshall falls in the semis 50 to 43. We'll be right back. Introducing the Doctor's Choice Hybrid with the cooling full body comfort of gel memory foam and individually wrapped coils featuring Boss technology. Choose from the luxury firm, Plush, and Eurotop. The Doctor's Choice Hybrid, exclusively at Denver Mattress. Everyone's invited to the prom. From the creators of the Book of Mormon, Elf and the Drowsy Chaperone, the Prom is a musical comedy about big Broadway stars on a mission to change the world and the love they discover that unites them all. The Prom makes you believe in musical comedy again. So full of happiness that you think your heart is about to burst. Everyone deserves a chance to celebrate. Everyone's invited to The Prom. Get your tickets at Overture.org. Taste the excellence of Madison. Madison Magazine presents The Taste Event, Monday, March 21st at the Edgewater. Enjoy live music by Shekinah King. While you indulge in delectable bites and sample a number of local distilleries and winemakers at the event, all while taking in the views of Lake Mendota. Make plans to attend Madison Magazine's Taste Event, Monday, March 21st at the Edgewater. Tickets are available now on madisonmagazine.com. Presenting sponsor, Wallersheim Winery, Distillery, and Bistro. When you switch to Spectrum Mobile, you get unlimited for $29.99 a month per line for two or more lines. That means unlimited nationwide 5G and the most reliable service coast to coast all for $29.99. But do people really want that? Oh, yeah. Should I jump on and take a couple? Uh, yeah, are you trained? No, but I have a lovely phone voice. I don't think that counts. Okay. Fair enough. Join the millions who have already switched. Get unlimited data for only $29.99. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store today. Supply chain backlogs, inflation, agitation. Here's an idea. If we make things here in America, supply chain issues won't be a thing anymore. That's exactly how we built the Bucks Arena, by having 80% of the materials come from Wisconsin. We did the same by paying higher wages. That's how you know as your senator, I'll get things done. Raising people's wages, make things in America, finally stand up to China. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message because it's time to put more money in the pockets of working people. This month, step into the kitchen of Madison Magazine Chef of the Year, Ateru Nagano. Go behind the lens of Hall of Fame photographer Pete Souza and visit local groups helping adaptive athletes get in the game. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Introducing the City Guide 2022 from the award-winning Madison Magazine with insider tips on where to eat, what to do, and places to see. Available for a limited time on area newsstands or online at madisonmagazine.com. Introducing the Doctor's Choice Hybrid with the cooling full body comfort of gel memory foam and individually wrapped coils featuring Boss technology. Choose from the luxury firm, Plush, and Eurotop. The Doctor's Choice Hybrid, exclusively at Denver Mattress. Call for action, only on News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Gary's back, final check. That Storm Murphy's got to be your favorite basketball player, right? That's a great name. I didn't have him in the pool. You didn't have him in Virginia Tech? <laughs> oh, we didn't, we didn't do a pool. Storm I'm Murphy. Age. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll get him uh, hopefully, up. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no storms, just rain in our forecast. Uh, live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam. A little misty out there, but right now, most of the showers are either to our north or coming in from the south and west. Temperatures are still in the lower to middle 40s, so it'll be a while before we start seeing some flakes of snow mix in. That could happen really tomorrow morning as temperatures drop into the middle 30s. Look for cloudy skies tomorrow. Uh, temperatures uh, mainly in the uh, around 40 for a high. You can see the uh, snow chances or snow potential, maybe an inch or two north and west of Dane County. Then those temperatures. Uh, actually warm up as we head into the early part of next week. All right, Gary, thank you very much. And thanks for joining us for News 3 Dow Midnight Edition. <laughs> Do something good and we will see you later on tonight.